Well, welcome to day 18 of the King's Agenda. Today, I want to introduce you to my dog. You may have heard me talk about my dog, Stormy, in the past. Uh, Stormy is a good dog as long as she gets what she wants. Uh, this is her happy spot. She likes to be sitting on somebody's lap most of the time. Although, I've got to be honest, this is about our eighth try trying to get her to sit here while we do this particular devotional today. The reason is uh, she has her own things that she wants to do. Sometimes she wants to sit in a lap. This morning I was sitting in this exact same spot trying to get my work done. I had stuff spread out all over the place and she kept hopping up here and trying to nudge it out of the way. Yes, she did with her nose um, and she kept pushing. I kept taking her and trying to push her off and get her to move. She would have none of it. She kept coming back up and nudging stuff out of the way uh, until I let her stay in her spot. Uh, my point to that is uh, she has just things that she wants done, her own basic agenda, you might say. And uh, you have to get on board with it if you're going to be in Stormy World because uh, she'll eventually get her way no matter what. Well, that brings us to Matthew 28 and the Great Commission of Jesus Christ to His disciples in which He says to uh, go into all the world and make disciples. It's a reminder that even though we have lots of things we want to do, Jesus has called us to a mission, a mission to spread the good news of Jesus Christ to the world around us. It's important to understand what that means. The words of Jesus are not just to uh, get people to pray a prayer and move into heaven, but rather the idea behind Jesus' words is He wants us to replicate disciples. The mission is not getting people to heaven. The mission is replication, uh, teaching people about Jesus, proclaiming His name wherever we go and whatever we do. In the strand of evangelicalism I grew up in, when people quoted the Great Commission, this Matthew 28 passage, it was often in the context of trying to convince people they needed to go overseas, uh, uh, bring the gospel to other cultures. That's a really important thing to do, but not all of us are called to do that. And some of us need to just think about our neighborhoods or the people around us. That's a really hard thing to do when you're locked in your house due to a pandemic or when all you're allowed to do is go to work and go home. You're not in school. We can't gather for church. We can't go to other gatherings. We can't get together with our neighbors. Nonetheless, the Great Commission still holds. Yesterday, the devotional asked us to consider some people that might be in our circle, some people that we should be praying for. Today I want you to think about those same people or perhaps stretch yourself a little bit. Over the past few days I've been reaching out to people in my neighborhood and um, sending text messages and other notes, just seeing how I could help them or how I could pray for them. Uh, digitally we can reach out even if we can't go see people. It is of course a pale imitation of going to see people and going out into the, all the world. For now though, I think it's what we have. I still think it's important that we do it. So my challenge to you today is to think about who's in your contacts on your phone, uh, on your Facebook, uh, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, whatever you happen to use. Uh, who could you reach out to? Who could you encourage? Um, who could you offer to pray for? And in doing those things, to share the good news of Jesus Christ with people who need it. So let's reflect today on the Great Commission and think about how we, even in our homes, even as we're stuck, um, how we can carry that out. And it's good to be with you today and we look forward to again being with you digitally, if not in person, on Easter Sunday as we go through this Holy Week. Uh, glad to be with you today and look forward to being with you again on Friday. On Good Friday, you can check our website. We'll have a, a Good Friday kind of service plan that you can go through with, uh, go through on your own. And then on Sunday, we'll get together for Easter again. Uh, thanks for your time today.